Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hakuna La Planta. My name is Kevin, and today I'm going to be talking about my top five plants of 2020. And they were all wishlist plants. This video is part one of, I guess, a two part video thing, where in the second video I talk about five plants that were on my wish list that I regret. And oh my gosh, <laughs> I feel really bad, but like, I, I truly do regret buying those plants. Anyways, let's stay with a positive. This video is positive. Funny enough, these five plants are all different. Like, they're not all from the philodendron family or the monstera family or any of that. They're all different. Before I start this video, if you're not subscribed to my channel and you enjoy this content, I would appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram right over here. So the first plant is going to be a philodendron. And this one was actually the hardest category because um, I do have a bunch of them and they're all like my babies. But anyways, the first plant is the Philodendron Strawberry Shake. So I'll try not to spill any Lekka, but the variegation on this plant, obviously that doesn't have any, but <laughs> the variegation on this plant is so cool. The reason why I love this plant is because the variegation is very unpredictable. Unlike most variegated plants, which have mainly two dominant colors, I would say this one has three to four different colors. And the colors could range from like yellow, cream, green, pink, sometimes orange. And I don't know, like I just love the excitement of not knowing what the next leaf is gonna look like. And especially when there's multiple colors, um, you really don't know what the next leaf is gonna look like. So I got this plant in April of 2020. Right when I got it, I quickly propagated it. And you could see here, I think I cut it into four pieces. Two of those small little stem things that you could see here, they didn't survive, but there was one that did survive. And here she is now. She's still a little baby, but I mean, like, look at these leaves. And like, I was so happy that I at least had one left. <laughs> so anyways, again, from the philodendron family, um, this is the philodendron strawberry shake. The next plant that I'm going to talk about is an anthurium. And it's an anthurium that kind of just pushed the boundaries because I thought it would just stay small and compact. So this is the Anthurium Crystal Hope. So I don't know if y'all can see the sparkleage. And she's large and in charge and oh girl. So the main mother plant has a couple leaves. So here's one and then this is the newest one. And actually we got one coming out here. And this leaf is actually an offshoot from the main mother plant. And so that's cute that now there's two and I could see another offshoot. This is really exciting. Anthurium tend to do this and I find that alocasias also do this too. But anyways, I'm getting carried away. I need to stop talking. But I thought that the plant would stay like this small here. But I was obviously wrong because I mean, like how do you explain these? You cannot. I got this anthurium I think in the summer, I'll put the date here. And again, the reason why I love this plant is because it shocked me in terms of how big the leaves got. And like, I mean, the crystally veining is to die for. And y'all probably can't see it, but oh my gosh, I love it. I think it's so cool looking back because I was so, I was so intimidated by anthuriums. And I actually bought my first anthuriums this year. I remember a year ago in 2019, I didn't even bother with them. I'd even look to see if there was ones that I liked just because they really, really have a reputation of being very fussy in terms of humidity. But anyhow, um, she's happy and I'm, and I'm happy. The third plant that I'm going to talk about is a Syngonium. And this one might shock you because I do have a lot of Syngoniums, and this one is probably the most plain out of all of them. But this is the Syngonium Chia Pens. 
And in this pod over here, there's actually two propagations and they're happy and they're thriving. I didn't want to pull, uh, I guess, the mother plant just because she's really tall, but there's something about this plant, despite just being a plain green leafed plant, um, I think it's the softness of the leaves. And I think I'm, I think I just love large uh, paddle-like leaves. <laughs> And also, if you guys haven't seen the video where I propagate this plant, please check it out on my channel. But let me just put you down here and I'll talk a little bit. So just to recap, when I got this plant, it had two leaves. I threw it into Leca and Passive Hydroponics and it quickly climbed. Here's a picture. And at this point, I didn't really want to propagate it, but I decided to do it. And yeah, actually guys, I think there's a third one here. I think this baby baby leaf over here um, is a different plant, but so there's three in here. I have two in a bigger pot. And the reason why I love this plant is because it was such a rapid grower. And if you know me yet, I am in love with propagating. So that kind of really made me love this plant because I could just con constantly chop it up. But yeah, here again she is. Like this leaf is so soft. It's not like velvet soft, but it's like soft. I don't know how to describe it. Anyhow, the Syngonium Chia Pens. So the fourth and fifth plant, they're on the larger side. And so the fourth plant is from the Amedrium family. And I have all my Amedriums in one pot, but I'm just going to talk about one. So here, I don't know if I could show you guys. Oh God, this is hard. Um, let me just show you these two leaves. Okay, so this is the Amedrium medium silver. Similar to the Chia Pants, the growth of the Amedrium medium silver specifically is just insane. Let me show you. So the plant has already made it to the top of the moss pole. And this moss pole, I think it's 42 inches tall. And like, I don't know if I should propagate it, but um, yeah. I think it's funny because I've kind of come to realize that I'm not necessarily a fan of the Medium family, just because the whole runner situation when they don't have something to climb on it's kind of annoying and I mean I had the the issue with that's not it or is it is this it really sad leaf but with the major medium silver um, it had two leaves I'll put a picture here so when I got it it had two leaves and it actually had a pretty long runner which was fine but it did take a little bit in the beginning to pop out a new leaf and I think that's this leaf that's why it looks crunchy and then the next one lower it are these two here sorry the plant might be dirty i don't really wash these leaves that often unfortunately and then it pushed out another two here and these ones look good i did have issues with my nutrients but um i think i fixed it because the newest leaf over here she looks cute um, we'll talk about this one, this Amedrium. It's going to be my next video. Let's just say that. Not necessarily a fan anymore. So fourth plant, Amedrium medium, silver. Okay, the last plant is a beast. It is a plant that is so underrated in my opinion. And I'm so excited to show you guys. It has grown so much and I'll just grab it. This plant is in the Alocasia family and it is my alocasia golden bone and you guys probably already guessed that because if you know me i am obsessed with this plant when i transferred it to this big bucket of a pot with leca it pushed out three offshoots of smaller plants so if i turn the pot here this is a new plant this leaf over here is a new plant and then this cutie over here. Also, to top that off, there's two blooms over here. You see that? And I know a lot of people say that you should cut them off just because they take a lot of energy from the plant, but I mean, I feel like we're okay. This alocasia didn't even 
drop any leaves. It is December, what is it? It's December 18th right now. And yeah, like how can you not love this plant? Okay, let me just put you down behind me. So believe it or not, guys, I got this plant in August of 2020 and the plant only had a single leaf. I'll put a short clip here of my Alocasia unboxing. That's on my channel. There is a one leaf and now she's a beast. Like, I don't even know. There's like one, two, three, four, five. Anyways, too many to count. So yeah, I guess the reason why I love this plant so much is obviously how much it's grown. Also, because I prefer LECA and passive hydroponics, um, I've realized that alocasias, um, but specifically my alocasia golden bone, really, really thrived in LECA. And yeah, I just, I can't get over her. She's like so amazing. And yeah, like I said, super underrated. Like everyone's talking about the alocasia Friedeck, the Cupria, the silver dragon dragon scale i think because it's not as you know different people don't really like it doesn't catch people's eye but she's my baby she's probably the top one in this list and i can't get over her okay guys i guess that's it it's honestly so satisfying wanting a plant so badly and then buying it and then just realizing that it was kind of worth the hype or the plant was worth the hype because obviously in the next video <laughs> it's a pretty sad one it's gonna be five plants that i'm just not about anymore and i don't know if i should keep them um but anyhow that's coming out um, i guess in a few days but anyhow thank you guys so much for watching if you've made it to the very end thank you guys so much i greatly appreciate it and i guess i'll see you guys later bye